Let's now state the mean value theorem. And the mean value theorem is a little similar to Rowe's theorem, but it's much more powerful. And up to a point, the setting for the mean value theorem is the same as for Rowe's theorem, continuous on a closed interval, differentiable everywhere except perhaps the endpoints. What we don't have here is the statement that f of a equals f of b. Just like Rowe's theorem, the mean value theorem says there's a number c in this interval such that the derivative at C is some special number. This time, instead of the derivative at C being zero, the derivative at C is the average rate of a change. And that's where this name comes from. Mean is another word for average. What intuition is the mean value theorem giving us? Suppose we are talking about a moving vehicle. Let's say that S of X is a car's position after X hours. And let's say we tell you that during a three hour drive, your average velocity was 60 miles per hour. In this context, average velocity is the average rate of change. So the average velocity was 60. The velocity function is the derivative of the position function. And what the mean value theorem says is that there's at least one moment where this exact velocity equals this average velocity. You cannot travel at 60 miles per hour on average without ever traveling exactly 60 miles per hour. 